Amen. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Praise Hallelujah. to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Amen. Praise to the one who is responsible for creation of man and creation of the world. Mm. Praise to the one who came and rescued us. Praise to the one who redeemed us and who made us right with God. Amen. Bible tells us in the beginning, man and woman sin against holy God. Mm -hmm. Separation take place because of their sin against God. Yeah. Yet, God of Bible stepped in and communicated with his people. Yes. God of Bible gave them the solution. Solution of Messiah. One day, man and woman is able to stand in front of holy God. Holy, holy. Approximately 2,000 years ago, Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal Word of God, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, steps in, steps in and rescues mankind from their sins. Lord Jesus Christ Amen. died on the cross Amen. for us to stand Amen. in front of Holy God. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise His name. Holy, holy name. Today, we want to talk about Muhammad. Today, also. we want to ask question about who is Muhammad and what he's going to do for Muslims. Yep. Approximately 1.84 billion Muslims are following this false prophet called Muhammad. And false religion called Islam. Islam. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. That while Islam teaches Muhammad is a sinful prophet yes, he is. Who, needed, who needed forgiveness for his sins, yet, yet approximately 1.84 billion Muslims are following him. Mm. It's not only Muslims are following him, yeah. Muhammad makes a claim that he is going to intercede for Muslims on the day of judgment. Today, we want to question how can Muhammad intercede while he states if anyone invokes curse, they cannot be the intercessor. So, we look at the Islamic tradition and we see Muhammad curses people, yet claims that he is going to intercede for people. Yeah, so we're going to read Islamic literature such as the Quran and the Hadith to show that Muhammad was a sinner. Muhammad invokes curse on people who don't deserve it. And then Muhammad intercedes for people. Whereas Islamic literature says that no one who curses anyone will intercede. And how can you follow someone who curses people and who's a sinner like Muhammad? So Muslims, like Yahya and Muslims watching and anyone here, we're going to ask you questions from your own sources and we will expect an answer. But of course, the only answer is Jesus. But yeah, let's go. So here's what Muhammad states in Sahih Muslim. The invoker of curse would neither be witness nor intercessor on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 62:84. Muhammad states, "I am not sent as an invoker of curse, yep. but I have been sent for mercy to the world." Now we want to see: Is Muhammad invoker of the curse, or is Muhammad mercy to the world, or can Muhammad qualified as the intercessor? Muslims. Yeah, so what she read was Sahih Muslim and we're gonna go into the same text Sahih Muslim and also the Quran and also the Quran and the Tafsir to show the whole context of how Muhammad was a sinner and an invoker of curse. So let's go with the Quran. Before we go to the Quran, remember. Yes, madam. Quran is the eternal word of Allah. According to Muslims. And according to Muslims, while Quran is the eternal word of Allah, yeah. it is given to Muhammad by angel. 
Muhammed never ever communicate with Allah regarding the Quranic verses. Yeah. Angel brought it down. Muhammed passed it around according to Muslims, according to Islamic tradition. Yeah. When we go to the Quran, we see Allah is telling Muhammad, Oh Muhammad, you are a sinner. You need to ask forgiveness for your sins. Let's look at the Quranic verses for that. Okay, we're going to look at uh, Surah 4055, for example, where it says, Allah, forgive, O Muhammad, wherefore did thou grant them leave of those who told the truth were manifest to thee and thou did not know liars? Uh, surah, surah 40, 40 verse surah 55. 40, just surah 40 verse 55 states Muhammad, whom been followed today by 1.84 billion Muslims, needs to ask forgiveness, forgiveness for his sins. It's not because he wants to reflect the things because of his sins. Yeah. What is the next so verse? So what I read was Surah 943. Surah 40, 55, ask forgiveness. Next one is Surah 48, 1 to 2. Lo, we have forgiven, we have given thee, O Muhammad, a signal victory that Allah may forgive you of your sin, that which is past and not which is to come. Surah 48 verse 1 to 2. So that is the third verse Allah states in the Quran that Muhammad needs to be forgiven for his sins. Muhammad needs to ask forgiveness for his sins. Yes. Let's look at another verse. So the other one is Surah 47, Ayah 19. So know, O Muhammad, that there is no God save O Allah and ask forgiveness for your sins and for believing men and believing women. That's Surah 47, Ayah 19. Why is Muhammad asking for forgiveness? Yeah, yeah. Why is Muhammad asking for forgiveness? Muslims watching. Do you have an answer? No answer, okay. The Tafsir explains why Muhammad is asking for forgiveness. Tafsir Ibn Abbas, of Surah 47, Ayah 19 says, O Muhammad, that there is no God except Allah, there is none that harms or benefit, gives or withholds, raises or abases except Allah. And it's also said that this means, I know that there's nothing that has the merits of there is no deity except Allah. And ask forgiveness for your sin, O Muhammad. When you beat up Zayd ibn al Samin, the Jew, and for believing men and for believing women, and seek forgiveness for the sins of the believing men and believing women. Oh, Muhammad! Yeah. When he beat a Jew man, Me you woman. need to. Zayd ibn al Samin, the Jew, yeah. When you beat a Jew person, you to ask forgiveness, beating the people of the book, beating is another a human being mm. is a sin. Mm. Therefore, Allah says, Muhammad, oh Muhammad, you've got to ask forgiveness for your sins. Wow. Surah 47, verse 19. That's the tafsir we just read. That's Ali Dawa, yeah? So All right, next while one. While Quran clearly states Muhammad is a sinner who needs forgiveness for his sins, also we look at the hadith and then we see Muhammad is seeking forgiveness for hundred times a day. No. Come closer. Muhammad, prophet, is human being. Adam, he done uh, something wrong, you remember? when you eat from uh, the tree. So it's perfect uh, So, So are you saying Muhammad is a sinner? No, he's, he's human being. So he's is he a, a sinner he or man, not? He, he's not angel. He's I didn't not. say he is. Is yeah. he a sinner or not? It, it, it's not like us. Why can't you like, not say it clearly? Is Muhammad, Muhammad sinner 
or it's not? not? Did Mohammed it, sin or he did not? It's not like... It doesn't say little here. Like, uh, he beat like a woman. Okay. No, he it's did. Not, here. We just did. read it. No, no, no. no. Okay, it's a man. Oh, it's a big thing. Word, he beat a human he, being. Let me answer to you. In yeah. a word, he said, don't kill women, don't kill kids, don't kill any anyone he, he tried fighting with so you. So he went against you his own uh, his own his own ways. You know, information on TV, they said Muslim blah blah blah. No no we don't we don't talk about information what TV. Is your name? We're reading Tafsir and Quran here. Name? Well, my name is Samir. Samir. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm not telling I'm not asking you to tell me what is BBC is telling you. No, my brother my no, brother Ibn Abbas, just man. read it <laughs> from Islamic sources. Exactly. Tafsir, According to Ibn Abbas, you are sure? Is it Tafsir he says? Yes. Surah 47. No, no, no. Only. Surah 47, you. You know that Ayah 19. No, no, Do you know Surah 47, Ayah 19? Oh, is that BBC? Is that BBC? Uh, okay, is that BBC? Is that BBC? No. Is that BBC? So no, 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 Muhammad. No, no, that's not BBC, yeah? Surah 47, okay, you're studying Arabic. verse 19. No. That's not BBC. Arabic says the same thing. Read it in Arabic. Go on. He needs to ask forgiveness for his sin because according to Tafsir, he beat another human being. Exactly. That's why he had to ask for forgiveness. He beat a person called Zayed ibn Salmi, Samin, a man, yeah? It's a man, but he's a human being. He beat a human being. So why is he beating a human being? It's, that's not the point. Forgiveness, that beating yeah. is a sin. Yeah. Cause sin because Allah says, Muhammad, you've got to ask forgiveness for what you have done. And what he's done is beating people of the book. Yeah. That's not very loving language. And when it? we ask these questions, Muslims, Answer it from your own literature and don't accuse us of we're getting it from BBC or Sky. We don't even watch those. We're giving you what the Quran that he says. Yes, sir. Answer to the question. Was Muhammad sinner or not a sinner? I answer to you. I answer to no, you. No, say yes or no. No or yes. Muhammad a sinner or not? Yeah, yeah. Was Muhammad a sinner or not? Yes or no? Well, you said I, I take that as a yes, yeah? I take that as a yes. 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 <laughs> Muhammad beat Aisha. It's not only Muhammad beat Aisha, yeah. beat Aisha, Muhammad no, 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 no. beat a Jew. And Allah says to Muhammad, Oh, Muhammad, you need to ask forgiveness for he what never, you have done. Ever. He always, he said, look after a woman. Look after, before he died. That's so why did he beat her? Why you, you not tell them? That's why you not, the BBC. Listen, listen. Why Bring you don't tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. He's going BBC. We're not going BBC. <laughs> According to your hadith, Muhammad beat Aisha. Exactly. According to your tafsir, Muhammad beat a Jew person. And Allah says to Muhammad, Muhammad, ask forgiveness for your sins. Shall we move on, yeah? Let's so now on. let's look at the hadith. Now we saw Quran told us Muhammad is a sinner who needs forgiveness. Let's see what does Let's hadith get deeper. Say. Let's get deeper and deeper, yeah? What does the hadith say about Muhammad? We're going to read Sahih al Bukhari, volume 8. Remember, this is not BBC. Sahih al Bukhari, volume 8, uh, book 75, number 319. Narrated Abu Huraira. I heard Allah's apostle saying, so this is Muhammad saying it, by Allah, I ask for forgiveness from Allah and turn to him in repentance more than 70 times a day. That's your prophet who proven that he's a sinner. Why is he asking for forgiveness if he's not a sinner? It's not only that, it's not only that. Again, Sahih Muslim states, yes. I seek forgiveness, forgiveness from Allah hundred times a day. That's 30 more. So one day is 24 hours. Yes. Okay, let's say Muhammad slept 10 hours of the day. No, 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 hours, eight hours. Eight, eight hours, hours of the day. Yeah. So you've got 16 hours left. And then another and eight hours having sex with his 11 wives. That's eight hours left. So that eight hours, he's left to, to ask forgiveness. 
So you are talking. Practice. So you are talking. 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 So you are Why Muhammad don't you talk to me? spent his day Why don't to you ask talk to forgiveness me? for hundred, hundred times, times a day. Can you answer that question? I, I will answer. I will no, no, wait, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. He wants no, no. to answer. No, I, I, I allow Can you give him a chance and then you go? Okay, yes, sir. Why did he ask forgiveness seventy and one hundred times a day? It's just teaching us to ask for Okay, so Muhammad was a sinner. No, he's not a sinner. Are you listening to yourself? You're so, contradicting go, yourself. Go to your own Bible. Go to your own Bible. Yeah. And uh, go to first, when you say, teach uh, his disciples, and then the pray of, of, of uh, forgiveness. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. So, but it's not for him. It's not for him. He taught his disciples. Same way. But he, did, he wasn't a sinner. Jesus wasn't a sinner. The problem of how can be upon him, he taught his Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he, he also had to repent himself. He did it though. He got the Holy Spirit. I don't get it. I'm trying to receive it from them. His followers can follow him. Okay. So you're not answering so, the question. So according to Muslim, according to Muslim, Muhammad asked forgiveness to be example to the, his community. He is the king. Okay. If he wanted to be example to the community, was Muhammad sitting around the table having hot chocolate after having sex with his wife? I don't think they had then, hot chocolate then. But. Don't be, don't be fussy. Sorry. Don't be fussy. And then he says, guys. No, I am going to show you how you ask for forgiveness. That wasn't the case. That's not the case. That wasn't the that case. That is according to BBC. That is according to Coronation Street. According not Sahih al-Bukhari. According to Hadith. He was asking forgiveness because he was sinful. He was sinful. That's it. Just agree to that. Uh, Muhammad was a sinner. Okay, but okay. You disagree wait, with the Quran. Wait, wait. You disagree with the Hadith. The Hadith and the Quran clearly state Muhammad was a sinner. So why are you not agreeing with that? If Muhammad was a sinner, doesn't make sense. What was he was repenting? What was good question. He repenting. Good question. She asked you a good what question. Answer. What was he repenting Answer. for? What was he repenting for? That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Go. On. So answer this question. Answer this question. Okay, have you finished? Okay, you have finished. You had time to respond to the question, and question was very simple. Question was very simple. Say one more time. Why did what is it Muhammad repented for? That was the question. But Why? what you have done is Seven you just ignored. You just ignored the question. Wait, Hatun. And you become apostate. Do you understand the question? By denying, by denying Jesus is sinless exactly. according to Islam. Exactly. And you told us Jesus is sinful. Exactly. You are becoming apostate. You don't Be understand the question, sir. Let's give him the time now. You had the time, yeah? So, yeah, yeah. Question is, why did Muhammad, what is it Muhammad repent for? All mankind, all mankind are not perfect. And we ask forgiveness and repentance to God about everything in our life. And this is kind of obedience and love and, and praying to God. Because God is all forgiver, all loving. And we must always, even if we're not aware, we must 
thanks, praise, and glorify, and ask for for forgiveness for God for what He bestowed on us, and we are not. Uh, okay, given so so neglect. so Muhammad was a sinner. I didn't say Muhammad was a sinner because if I say Muhammad was a sinner, I will admit that even Jesus was a sinner. All mankind is a sinner. No, I didn't say yeah, that yeah, yeah. My question mistake. was very simple. No, no, what was sinner. it? What Muhammad asked repentance for? Daniel, you repent from the things. Me. What are the Talk things you repent for? Thank you, yeah. What are the things you repent for? When I sin against God, I have to ask forgiveness and repent from that sin. So okay. how come so when Jesus was baptized, yeah, yeah, was yeah, baptized yeah, by John the Baptist, was a cleanse of his, his sin? No, it wasn't. Your Jesus, no, it was yeah, not. Yeah, 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 no, it wasn't. Jesus, you're, 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 you're twisting God. it. You Jesus, are your intentionally you want twisting. To answering you my want question. To me. I ask you a question. Your Jesus what was the biggest sin that for? Bible. Ask for this. No, no. They are seeking for Jesus. Because Jesus ask for this. says, no ask one for this. this. I'll give you some Jesus example. Said, what no are the things Muhammad did that he repented for? So he is not when good. Muhammad beat people of the book. There you go. That's it. When Muhammad into the married woman. You when Muhammad people of the book, forced himself into the slaves. Of the book when Muhammad you are not tortured people. Those Sorry. are the, some examples. Yeah, yeah, can what? you hear? Can you listen? Yeah? No, I can't. Listen. Now wait, wait. You need to listen no, no, no. Two minutes, two minutes. Yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Why, John the Baptist, why he was baptized? Because it's the place of the sin. And Jesus said, there's no one good by God, so it's Jesus in me, in her, was not in him. for forgiveness when he fell on his face and prayed to God. He's asking for, for forgiveness. No, it's not. And for, no, it's for not. begging God no, it's not. for everything. No, it's not. I am going to stop you, Yahya, because today, myself. because today you went against Islam, you went against Muhammad, and you put them Mom. after Mom. the so why are you still you a Muslim? Put them under the grave. Your, Leave Islam right now. Your main God. No, no, yeah, yeah. It your doesn't God. work with me, yeah, yeah. You cannot your put main God. my scripture. I challenge all of you, Christian. I challenge all of you. Listen to this. You're not, you're not even answering your question. All of you, Christian. Perfect Jesus, God, man. When he said, talking I over me. You are not the abolish the law. OK, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, can you listen? And we know the law. It oh, go, go with your ladder down there. Been, go with your ladder down there. Men, women, children. It's very okay. clear. I am asking the simple I'm asking question. You now. I'm Why asking you Muhammad and I pose it Yeah, 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 yeah. Go down there. For. Go down there. What did Muhammad did that he needed to repent? Exactly. What Muhammad. did he did for He doesn't have an answer. He doesn't have an answer. He needed to ask forgiveness for. You are bringing to me yeah, yeah, that when Jesus got baptized. Weak. I challenge by you. By butchering my scripture. I challenge that you. has nothing to do with my question. I, you cannot challenge me. I Why do you fail you. to answer Jesus my question? Christ. So, let's, let's go. Let's go continue. Let's, let's continue. To abolish, I didn't come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. And we know That's not the answering law your question. of Moses. Uh, yeah, yeah. You get worse every week, man. Of children, raping women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You are not going to yeah, yeah. Engage. You're not engaging. You try to ignore. If you are not engaging, get down from your orange ladder. You go down, down, down there. It's the son of God. It's the so, son is the father. Let's continue. We so looked at the Quran and we saw from the Quran that Quran tells Muhammad he needs to what ask you know forgiveness. We look what at the you know about Quran. We see and you are Muhammad. Your bloody serpent confused in Bible. And Muhammad needed to ask forgiveness for hundred times a day. And, and have you have you noticed Yahya and all the Muslims men, here? They're children. not appealing to the Quran or the Hadith to answer the question. They're appealing to their mind and they go back to the yeah. Bible. So it you can't stand on your own two feet day. exactly and, and answer questions. Put the Quran under the grave. Or when Muslims recycle the Quran. Exactly. It is sad day. 
They are inviting me here. So, you did. We never invited you. No, no, we never invited you. You're not invited. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me tell you what's Takia. No, Takia you are not invited. You are not invited. You are not invited. He can lie. But Takia, you did lie. You did lie. You did lie. Did lie. I'm, I'm, so, no, I, you're not invited. Yeah, yeah. Go down there. Let's look at our main topic as we were talking about. Talk to me. Talk to me. If you are someone, you cannot be in this sense. According to the Muslims, according to Islamic teaching, Muhammad is going to be in this for Muslims on the day of judgment. Until all the Muslims are out of the hand, Muhammad is going to be in this But by his own criteria, we see Muhammad destroys his claims. We look at the Islamic tradition and then we see Muhammad is cursing people. Can, can you look at the Hadith? I'll read the cursing one, you read the intercessor one, yeah? So, uh, Sahih Muslim chapter 23. He upon whom Allah's apostle. Hello? Why don't you address me? Okay. Aisha reported, the mother of your faith. Aisha reported that two persons visited Allah's messenger, which is Muhammad. And both of them talked about a thing which I am not aware. But that annoyed him and he invoked a curse upon both of them and heard a maldication which is a form of a curse with an evil attempt. Why did Muhammad do that? Let me understand that. Muhammad, who is supposed to be the last prophet, who is supposed to be cursing to the world, yes. curses people. Is yes. that correct? According to Sahih Muslim, that is correct. According to Sahih Muslim, why don't you, why don't you mention the last prophet, who also is supposed to be the Ceremony of the prophet is cursing people. He is cursing. Shall we read on? Uh, and then the, this person who was cursed, when they went out, I said, Allah's messenger, the good will reach everyone, but it would not reach these two because he cursed them. He said, why? And then they said, because you have invoked a curse and heard a maldication, hurled a maldication upon both of them. And he said, don't you not know? Now this is the convenient version of your prophet, convenient revelation. Don't you not know? I have made a condition with my Lord. Muhammad made a condition. Muhammad is making a condition. So Muhammad is the God in this time. Allah is like a a, a genie box, a, a, a puppet, yeah, a puppet for Muhammad. We worship oh Allah. Allah, I am a human uh, being and for that I'm for a Muslim upon God. whom I invoke a curse or hurl a maldication, which is a form of a curse, make it a source of purity and reward. So basically, the curse of Muhammad is converting like a currency from pound to dollars to blessings. Why is this happening? What is this kind of prophet you're following? It gets worse. It get, does get worse, yeah. It gets worse. Man who's supposed to be the example to mankind. Man who's supposed to be the intercessor for Muslims. Uh -huh. Man who's supposed to be the mercy to the world. Again, when he curses an awful girl, according to Sahih Muslim 6297, this is what happens. Muhammad said, she, sta she says, um, she, sh she states that she was cursed. Jeremiah, and then Muhammad says, Jeremiah 17, 5, and the you Christian, I have made this term with my Lord. Men. And the term Jeremiah. in my community, in my ummah, of purification and purified and nears to Allah on the day of resurrection. There will be the people in the Muslim community. Yes. Muhammad is cursing them falsely. They are not even deserving. And Muhammad says, if that is the case, if I failed my judgment, Allah, be blessed them, Allah, because I made a deal with Allah. 
So the currency here is deception. Conversion from cursing to blessing is deception or convenience, which is what Muhammad wants. It and gets a bit worse. He, he, is, he doesn't have the judgment skills. He doesn't know what is the right, what is the wrong. He curses people who did not deserve in his community. Exactly. In his community. We know Muslims are cursing the Christians and Jews, but in this time, Muhammad is cursing Muslims. And then he says, if they did not deserve it, turn it to the blessings, because he made a deal with Allah. And let's remind the viewers that the hadith says, Sahih Muslim 32, 6280, sorry, 6283 says, the invoker of curse would neither be a witness nor an intercessor on the day of resurrection. That is your source, Muslims. So which means this qualifies Muhammad not to intercede. It disqualifies him to intercede. It's not only that, Muhammad himself states, invoke curse upon the politics. Then upon he says, I have not been sent as an invoker of the curse, but a mercy to the mankind. He's lost it, Muhammad has lost it. Yes. He spends his time and curses Muslims. And then he says, if they did not deserve, if they did not deserve, I made a deal with Allah. Allah is going to turn it to the blessings. Mm. Very so, lovely, isn't it? It's very it? lovely that Muhammad goes against his own word. Muhammad goes against his own standard. And Muslims are following someone who does not follow himself which is a dangerous dangerous trap you're putting yourself into muslims but jesus never has these problems Before, just one. so what we see here is muhammad prophet of islam stands up in seventh century and confirms for us islam is a false religion people do not follow yeah muhammad i am muhammad i am false prophet I say, if, if if you want to be intercessor, you cannot curse anyone. Yet, Muhammad steps in and does all to prove he is just a false prophet who brings the false book. And to make it sound so nice, Muhammad made a deal with Allah. With Allah. Allah didn't make the deal, you see that? Muhammad is the one making deals with Allah. Very so powerful. He's a very powerful marketing man for Islam. Very powerful, sinful man. Yes, he is. Very powerful, sinful man who has been followed by 1.84 billion people. Wrongfully. He is that powerful. He can make a deal with the creator of everything according to Muslims. Yes. And his conditions are very, very interesting, good marketing plans. Very marketing, good marketing plans, but deception. And he changes yesterday, he changes today, and he changes tomorrow. Muhammad, you can never figure him out. But with Jesus Christ, you can figure him out. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That's why you need Jesus, because he stands true to his words. You're a Muslim, and all you Muslims that are watching, the reason why you need Jesus is because he is the same yesterday, today and forever and he died for your sins. He can save you from your sin. He's the one who can intercede for you, who will never let you down. So deny Islam and come to the true Messiah who is Yeshua Amashiach. God bless you. Thank you.